Hello class, this is Miss Augustine. We are still in chapters 17 and 18, which are about water and aqueous solutions. And today we're going to talk about solution concentration. So what do we mean by concentration? It's the relative amount of solute in a given amount of solvent. So it's a way to quantify what is in a solution. And generally speaking, we talk about dilute solutions that have much more solvent and not so much solute. So let's say I put a teaspoon of sugar in a gallon of water. That would be dilute. Whereas if I think about honey in my little honey bear jar, um, that would be concentrated. There's quite a lot of solute and not so much solvent. So solution concentration is shown with these little rectangular brackets. And that is a measure of the amount of solute in a given amount of solvent. And it's important for all medical and scientific fields. So let's say your doctor's gonna give you a shot. You wanna make sure that he has the right concentration such that when he gives you the shot, you don't die, for instance. So it's kind of helpful. So all of the medical and scientific profession use some measure of concentration to tell you what's actually in a compound or solution. And so, for instance, when you're in the hospital, if you need an IV, uh, the sodium chloride concentration that our bodies can handle is 0.9%. So what terms do we use to describe the concentration of solution? Again, dilute, little solute, dissolved in solvent, concentrated lots. Um, and again, we don't typically know what the actual amounts are for for instance, orange juice concentrate, but we know that you have to dilute it in order to drink it. So the one that we're going to be using is called molarity, and it's defined as the number of moles of a solute in one liter of solution. So molarity, which is capital M, is moles of solute per liters of solution. So again, uh, amount over volume. And if we're interpreting the units, if I had a six molar hydrochloric acid solution, that means that there are six moles of HCl in every one liter of the solution. If I had a 0.5 molar sodium chloride solution, that means that there's a half a mole of sodium chloride in every one liter of solution. So how would I make a one molar solution of sodium chloride? This means molar mass is back in our lives. So first I would weigh out one mole of my sodium chloride salt, which is 58.44 grams. I would add it to a special flask. It's called a volumetric flask. And I would add enough deionized water to fill the flask up to the one liter mark. And I would put it on a little stir plate and I would stir it. So this is the special flask known as a volumetric flask. And again, each volumetric flask has a little line on it that tells you where the one liter mark is. And I would dilute it so that the meniscus was on that mark. So molarity is defined as moles of solute per liter of solution where capital M is molarity, moles of solute is N, liter of solution would be V volume. And again, molarity is N over V. So if I wanted to uh, rearrange that equation, I could solve for the number of moles by multiplying molarity, moles per liter, times volume in liters. And yes, that means you're going to be using some algebra. So let's do a molarity problem. What is the molarity of a solution made by dissolving 85.0 grams of sodium chloride in 750 mils of water? So the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to convert from grams to moles. So 85 grams of sodium chloride times one mole of sodium chloride is 58.44 grams. Again, molar mass. Um, so grams of sodium chloride cancels out. That leaves us with moles of sodium chloride, three sig figs, rounding to three sig figs. Now we can solve for our molarity. So molarity is N number of moles over V volume. Our number of moles we calculated here was 1.45. 
we have 750 mils of water, so dividing by 1,000, that gives us 0 0.750 liters of solution. Do our division, and that gives us 1.9333, which rounds to three sig figs to 1.93 molar sodium chloride. So the second kind of problem that we solve with molarity is called molarity by dilution. So given a concentrated solution, how do you make a dilute solution from it? And why would you want to do this? Well, it turns out that most things that we get in the lab um, of acids and bases are delivered as concentrated solutions. And so what you have to do is you have to take a little tiny amount of the concentrated stuff and dilute it to get the right molarity. So that equation looks like this. M1V1 equals M2V2, where Molarity is capital M and V is volume. So why do we learn about this again in lab when we order acids? They're delivered as concentrated solutions and we need to calculate how to dilute them so that we can use them in the lab safely for you guys. So M1V1 equals M2V2. Example, how many liters of a 16 molar uh, hydrochloric acid solution are needed to make half a liter of a solution with a concentration of just 2.5 molar HCl. And again, HCl is delivered to us as 16 molar and 2.5 is what we typically use in lab. So our M1 here is 16. Our V1 is a question mark. We don't know how much of it we need. Our M2 that we want to make is 2.5 molar and we only need half a liter of it. So V1 is going to be equal to M2V2 over M1. Plugging in my numbers, um, 2.5 molar times 0.5 liter over 16.0 molar, my molarity is going to cancel out. And when I do my multiplication and division, I get 0 0.078. So um, rounding that to two sig figs, it means I need point, uh 078 liters, which is the same as 78 milliliters. So I would take 78 uh, milliliters of the concentrated stuff and dilute it to half a liter.